March the 29th, uh, Sunday, more backyard farming. Uh, got a completed uh, earth box here for tomatoes. You see it's completely finished. And that uh, water right up to the uh, overflow tube. I figured out there's roughly about, uh, takes about a gallon of water, maybe a little bit more, uh, to fill it up. The other thing I want to show you is yesterday I did a little something that was kind of confusing, and that was when I talked about where to drill these drain holes. It really kind of depends on the bucket that you've got. Um, but what I was actually measuring is this lip. In this case, it's, it's three inches. So you'd want to put, put you a couple of holes uh, three inches off the bottom. So you want to mark that. Drill it just a little bit below that, and you'll be in good shape. And I drilled, uh, I think, about a three-eighths of an inch hole, something like that. It's not critical. The other thing is the uh, drain pipe. Uh, I talked about how you can cut that at an angle. You can use a uh, saber saw like this to do that. And I'll just give you a little demonstration of that. There you have it. Perfect, perfect little uh, thing that definitely won't get clogged up. It's a good way to do it. And we'll go on outside here, and I'll show you a couple other things that I changed my mind about. <clears throat> Instead of using potting soil and digging here in the compost pile, I decided to go ahead and use a potting mix. And uh, this was really based on some information I got off the internet. So this is uh, so far I've I've done two buckets, and uh, so it looks like to do we're going to try to get four done today. And uh, these are 64 quart bags, so it looks like it'll take uh, a bag, slightly less than a bag for for two of them. And of course I used uh, in the top four or five inches of this bucket the last batch of uh, dirt that I mixed up, I put about a cup of the uh, of the lime in that. Then after that I used a one cup of 10-10-10 and I just, just uh, dispersed it around this outer ring here and uh, we're ready at this point. We're going to go ahead and cap this thing off and uh, plant the plant the tomato. Uh, seedling. One other thing I did in here is I, uh, I'm not saying this is really necessary, but I used uh, a tie wrap on each side. You have to be a little bit careful with that. You can see that I got a little carried away with that one. Uh, but I used a tie wrap on each side to just kind of hold this lid down real good and keep it, keep it sealed. Since we started uh, the tomato plants from seed, uh, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead tonight. I think it's supposed to get down to maybe 45 degrees. We're going to go ahead and uh, just to let everything, uh, let this plant adjust a little bit. We're probably going to leave it uh, inside the, the greenhouse for a day or two. And my trusty assistant here is now my better half, I should say, who knows a lot more about growing plants than I do. <laughs> is going to go ahead and put the tomato plant in place and we're just going to put a little of the this lime fortified uh, soil right across the top of it and then just basically just water it in and that'll be the only time that we'll uh, that we'll actually water this from the top probably what we'll do is put a 
I think I'm actually going to use a little plastic or something. I'll come up with something uh, to uh, completely cover the hole up. I want it sealed uh, as much as possible. It's Friday, the 10th of April, Good Friday, Backyard Farming, Florida. Talk a little bit first about the uh, Earthbox project. You can see that uh, I'm going to keep this one inside. Um, kind of want to compare really between the uh, earth box growing outdoors and uh, hydroponics uh, system just to see how they uh, compete with each other. If you look out in the back here, I've gone ahead and moved a couple of the boxes outside. You can see over on the left, uh, under the black plastic, uh, we have some uh, tomato plants that we put outside, and I would say they're probably doing uh, the poorest. Um, the ones that are in the, the earth boxes are doing quite well. On to the uh, hydroponic system. I've uh, got it running right now in a test mode. I've got uh, three tomato plants that I've uh, put in here. I use the uh, the uh, Lyca aggregates clay pellets. You see I've got 25 gallons of uh, solution mixed up. The only two components that I used out of that three-part thing from uh, Future Garden was the uh, Vigor and Grow. <clears throat> I've got uh, two and a half ounces of Vigor and five and a half ounces of Grow in there right now. The pH is a little high. It's, it's almost neutral right now, or close to 7.0. We're on a. We're not on city water. We have a well. I'm going to let it go ahead and run overnight, and uh, if it doesn't come down, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put some muriatic acid or something in it. As far as the uh, the timer, it's, this is a kind of a home brewed thing I did, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, the magnetic latching relay right here. I'm running, uh, right now I'm pumping for six minutes and I'm off for 20. And I just repeat that cycle 24 hours a day. You can see right now inside of here it's uh, about 82 degrees. And if I switch over, you can see that the uh, temperature of the uh, nutrients around 70. So, we just have to see how this works out. These uh, these plants survive overnight and do okay. Well, I'm going to get a little more aggressive with it, and I'll keep you posted.